From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Emily Jovesky. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie says the remaining Indian diplomats in Canada are on notice after six of their colleagues were expelled earlier this week. It came after the RCMP alleged the diplomats were involved in targeting Canadian citizens who support an independent Sikh state known as Khalistan. The Indian government denies the allegations and expelled six Canadian diplomats from New Delhi in response. Jolie says Canada won't tolerate any diplomats that threaten Canadians with violence. Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland says she's absolutely confident the majority of Liberal MPs still support Prime Minister Justin Trudeau as leader. Several media reports have uncovered efforts by some Liberal MPs to confront the Prime Minister at next week's caucus meeting and ask him to step down. Trudeau also plans to shuffle his cabinet to replace four cabinet ministers who don't plan to run again in the next election. The United Nations says it will keep its post on the Lebanon-Israel border staffed. Forces in the UN peacekeeping mission in southern Lebanon are maintaining their positions despite warnings from the Israeli Defense Forces to move away. Andrea Tenenti says a unanimous decision was taken by its 50 troop contributing countries and the Security Council for it to hold its positions as part of its aim to monitor the conflict and work to ensure that humanitarian aid reaches needy civilians. I'm Charles de Ledesma. Three of Canada's tobacco giants are set to pay $32.5 billion to tens of thousands of smokers and their loved ones in a decades-long legal battle. About $25 billion would be paid to provinces and territories, and over $4 billion to thousands of Quebecers. Lawyer Bruce W. Johnston represents the Quebec plaintiffs and calls the deal historic. So when we took this case in 1998, uh, as far as we knew, there had never been a single person who had received a single penny in compensation from a tobacco company. The proposal must still go through several steps before it can be put into action. First Nations chiefs have voted in favour of a new negotiation process to reform the child welfare system. It calls for the creation of a Children's Chiefs Commission comprised of leadership from all regions of the country and for a new negotiation and legal team. It comes after the chiefs rejected a $47.8 billion deal with Canada at an assembly of First Nations gathering in Calgary last night. And the Alberta and federal governments are pledging a combined $5.5 million toward attracting tourists to Jasper, Alberta. Year-round tourism is the main economic driver for the Rocky Mountain town, but a July wildfire destroyed one-third of the Jasper town site, including multiple hotels and 800 housing units. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the Winnipeg Jets welcome the San Jose Sharks as part of tonight's NHL action. The Jets are off to a flying start with a 3-0 record, while the Sharks have lost their first four games. The Los Angeles Dodgers can advance to the World Series tonight with a win over the Mets in New York. Later, the visiting New York Yankees take a 2-1 lead over the Cleveland Guardians into Game 4 of the American League Championship Series. The second last week of the CFL season kicks off tonight as the Hamilton Tiger Cats host the Calgary Stampeders. Both teams are at the bottom of their respective divisions and have been eliminated from playoff contention. And Montreal's Gabriel Diallo advanced to his first career ATP Tour semifinal with a 3-6-6-3-6-4 upset of Chile's Alejandro Tabilo at the Almaty Open Tennis Tournament in Kazakhstan. From the Canadian Press, I'm Emily Jovesky. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.